Good morning and welcome to my skincare routine vlog video. My day starts every day the you same way the around 7.15 with a wake up call from my buddies the pups. And every day starts Ooh, with doggy snuggle. But I'm not quite ready to get out of bed yet. And so every other day I put on my Omnilux masks, which is my red light LED anti-aging therapy treatment. I keep the masks in a basket next to my bed. I just pop them on my face, my neck, and my hands, and it gives me a 10-minute anti-aging treatment. Red light therapy is so good for your skin. It really helps with clarity, and it helps to reduce the look of pores and fine lines and wrinkles. I love it and use it every other day. Another big part of my skincare routine is my sleeping wedge, which is hiding here underneath my pillows, there it is. Uh, so I sleep with my head semi-elevated and that eliminated so many wrinkles. I was getting a big Y-shaped wrinkle on my chest and it was also making my nasal labial folds extra deep. So I trained myself to sleep on my back and now that I do that, I wake up without eye puffiness, without eye bags and my nasal labial folds aren't as deep and I don't have any chest wrinkles at all anymore. Believe it or not, brushing my teeth is actually part of my skincare routine. Have you ever watched your upper lip when you brush your teeth, especially with an electric toothbrush? Forget about drinking through a straw. I think this is the number one contributor to lip wrinkles. So now I hold my lip still while I'm brushing my teeth. Job number one every day is taking the dogs out for their morning walk, which can be 20 minutes, half an hour outside. So I always put on sunscreen before I take them out. This is my favorite new sunscreen for this purpose. It's First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen. It's an SPF 30, safe for sensitive skin, mineral sunscreen. It has a slight tint to it. It's not greasy. It doesn't make me look shiny and it doesn't leave me a white cast. So I look fairly normal while I'm walking my dogs. I apply a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen for my face and my neck. I like this sunscreen because it's not water resistant and I'm only gonna have it on for a couple of hours. I'm gonna keep it on while I walk my dogs and also while I work out this morning, but then eventually I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna want it to wash off fairly easily. I use my Make Prem Stick Sunscreen to sunscreen up the backs of my hands. Then I put on my Blistex Ultra SPF 50 to protect the lips while I'm out. Even in the summer, it's not too, too hot here, so. I usually wear a long sleeved hoodie that has a high neck and long lightweight joggers to walk the dogs in the morning. I had sunglasses and a wide brimmed hat. Can't leave the house without a baggie. In the morning when the sun's low in the sky, the hat doesn't really do much to protect the lower half of my face, which is why I put on the sunscreen and the hat. After our morning walk, we come back in, I eat breakfast, I take a few supplements specifically for my skin. I put my Vital Proteins Marine Collagen in my tea in the morning. I also take fish oil, niacinamide, CoQ10, and phytoceramides. I look at my computer, answer some emails, do a little work, and then I get on my Peloton to do a little workout. On a day when I've used my Omnilux mask earlier, I would normally just hop in the shower now, wash my face, and do the rest of my skincare routine. But on the days that I don't do my Omnilux masks, I use my New Face microcurrent device. Let's just go over that quickly now. So if it's on a day that I get up, I don't do Omnilux, I still put on my sunscreen, take the dogs out, you know, answer a few emails, then come back to the bathroom a little later on. And then I need to remove the sunscreen. What I use to remove it is the Goku Jun Oil Cleanse. So I just put a little bit of this, oops, on my hands rub it all over the sunscreen. Oil is really great at getting sunscreen off. You don't want to have any sunscreen or any other product on your face when you're doing your new face routine because it could interfere with the microcurrent. So I'm just going to rinse this with warm water, give it a little rub with my Wonder Cloth, and then I'll do a second cleanse with my Derma E Sensitive Skin Cleanser. Then I'll leave my face wet and do my new face routine. I use the new face conducting gel. I just put a little bit on a paintbrush that comes with it. Paint it on. I'm not gonna do my whole new face routine, but you can do them on the same day as your Omnilux treatment. I just don't because, you know, that takes up enough time in my day. Okay, it's up at the highest setting. And then I like to use the booster button, so I just give that a press and it gives me, oops, that extra 25% of power.
The uh, booster button activated, you can really feel a difference in the microcurrent and like, look at the difference it makes. I mean, <laughs> amazing. This is one of my all time favorites. That's my basic routine. I would repeat that on the other side of my face. Uh, let me go ahead and do that off camera. Then I'm gonna hop in the shower. Then we'll come back and do the full morning skincare routine. I lightly pat the water off my face. I don't let my face dry completely before going in with my skincare. Your skin is more absorbent when it's slightly damp than when it's completely dry. So I'm gonna go in with my first product, which is my Timeless Vitamin C Serum. This is a 20% L-ascorbic acid based vitamin C serum. It'll hold your fingers together really tight because it's very, very watery liquid. I'll put one pump of that out on my fingertips, rub them together, and then just apply it right to my face. And I put it everywhere. I put it underneath my eyes, cheeks, chin. Don't forget your upper lip, forehead. I don't put it on my actual eyelids because it is an acid. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. It's one of the most potent antioxidants that we can use in skincare and L-ascorbic acid versions of it are the most effective in your skin. They are proven to help to brighten your skin, to fight free radicals that are produced by exposure to sun and pollution. Those are things that destroy our DNA. It's doing wonders below the surface that you may not even be aware of, protecting your collagen, and that's the name of the game in anti-aging. I avoided my neck because my neck is so super sensitive, I can't use this 20% version on there, but you saw me put it on my chest and the backs of your hands. Those need your anti-aging ingredients every single day. The vitamin C that I put on my neck is also from Timeless. It's their 10% vitamin C serum. So this is gonna be just a little bit gentler than the 20%. So I'm just gonna take one squirt of that, apply that to my neck. Second product I apply is my Ordinary 10% Lactic Acid with 2% Hyaluronic Acid. I don't use a separate Hyaluronic Acid Serum because all of my skincare serums have Hyaluronic Acid in them already. So there's no point in buying a separate Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And where Lactic Acid is another acid, I don't put that one on my eyelids either. Just put it on the same places as I put the vitamin C. I am gonna avoid my neck with this one. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. It's an exfoliator, so it's great for helping your skin to turn over the dead skin cells that pile up on the surface faster. And the fewer dead skin cells that you have piled up on the surface, the less crepey, the less dull your skin is gonna look. So an exfoliator is awesome to have in your skincare routine. Studies have shown that lactic acid helps your skin to produce more ceramides, and ceramides are fatty lipids that help your skin look plump, and they also decline as we age. So having something that helps your skin to produce more ceramides is always a good thing. All right, then the third serum I go in with is my Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. If you've never bought from Timeless before, I have a $5 off discount code with Timeless that you can use. It's in the info box below the video. So this is a yellow serum. This one's so nice and lightweight. CoQ10 is another antioxidant, but it works differently from vitamin C. CoQ10 actually gives your skin cells energy and your skin cells need energy because they're really busy little beavers producing collagen, producing elastin. And just like everything else, as we age, our skin cells get tired and they need more energy to do their work. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to all the same places, neck, chest, backs of hands. As you can see, I'm just rapid firing everything on. I don't wait between steps. If you let it dry completely between steps, you're getting less and less absorbency every time you wait. So I just go ahead and rapid fire them on. It makes my skincare routine really quick. After that, I put on my day moisturizer, which is the CeraVe PM. I know I had switched away from this for a bit and I was using this e.l.f. Pure Skin Moisturizer. They have very similar ingredients. They both contain niacinamide, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid and glycerin. So they're both great products about the same price point. I noticed that when I used the e.l.f., my sunscreen wasn't sitting as well over the moisturizer as it had when I used the CeraVe. So I'm probably gonna use up the end of this, like in the evenings, but when I'm wearing sunscreen, I like the CeraVe better. So I've gone back to the CeraVe and I apply it to all the same places. I don't know if you noticed with the CoQ10, but I did put that on my eyelids and I'm gonna put this moisturizer on my eyelids, upper lip, on my lips, because lips need skincare too. They don't need acids, but they do need skincare. And then I'm gonna bring that down my neck. I'm gonna take one more pump to do chest and backs of hands. I don't use a separate eye cream because I have all the best ingredients already in 
all my products. And so what is adding an extra eye cream gonna do? If you need extra moisture under your eyes, you can certainly add an extra more emollient moisturizer. But as far as active ingredients that you're gonna give you for under your eyes, it's all in everything else that I use already. So no separate eye cream, no separate neck cream, no separate chest cream. Each product that I have in my skincare routine is hand selected for the ingredients that are in it and the things that have been proven to work. Ingredients that dermatologists recommend that are backed up by lots and lots of research, lots and lots of science, and those are the ones that I load into my skincare routine and use on my face. And I've got to say, the difference between my skin between me at 50 and me at 60 is really quite remarkable, considering that most of it is from skincare, and I'm really happy about that. Next thing I apply in the morning is my dark spot formula from Agency. This little section and another section later in the video will be sponsored by Agency. I'm an ambassador with Agency. It's a brand that I've been using and loving for years now, and I would be talking about them anyway because they are in my skincare routine. They set you up one-on-one -on -one with a dermatology provider who recommends the ingredients that should go into your body bottle and which bottles you should get. This dark spot formula contains four active ingredients that are for removing dark spots and reducing redness and discolorations in the skin. So I just use about a half a pump of this in the morning because I really use it as a spot treatment and I use it twice a day. And since I started using that, my skin has gotten so much more clear. Like. I used to be completely red all across here and on my chin and everything. And now look how nice and clear my skin is. And I also had some age spots like up here that I was fighting that nothing else was taken care of. And using this has really helped to break up and reduce those age spots. You can get one or both of their formulas. I'll talk about the other one separately, but if you do want to try Agency, there's a link in the info box below the video. So it's a really great service and then they ship it right to your house. So then the last step in the morning routine is of course my sunscreen. And this is one of the most important things that you can do for your skin. The sunscreen is going to help to fight off the things that really cause 80 to 90% of our skin's external aging. So the sunscreen I'm gonna to use today is my Undefined R&R sunscreen. It's an SPF 50, it's 40 minutes water resistant, and it has a PA rating of PA++++, which tells me that it's giving me really robust UVA protection. I do like this one a lot though, because it is 22% zinc, so I think it probably does have really good UVA protection as well. And UVA are really the rays that cause a lot of the aging on our skin and uh, also causes a lot of the skin cancers. And so I don't want either of those. So I apply a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen every day. That's the amount you need to really protect your skin to get the SPF on the label. If you're applying less than a quarter teaspoon, you are cutting down the SPF number on the label. So if you use half as much as you're supposed to, you're getting half the sun protection. So a 25. I think I showed you this for the three fingers. That's how you get the quarter teaspoon. I spent so much of my life just accumulating sun damage like on purpose. I was so dumb and I thought, you know what? Well, by the time I get wrinkles, I'll be an old lady and I won't care. And guess what? This old lady really does care. I wish I had not done all that sun damage to my skin, but I did and it's too late now to go back and relive it and do it better. So. I've decided that I'm just going to not lay in the sun anymore and try to get as little sun exposure as I can on at least my face and my neck and the backs of my hands as possible every day. I really love protecting my skin now and seeing the differences because not only does sunscreen prevent future sun damage, it can actually help your skin to repair past damage. So there was a study that I read a while ago that showed that people who use sunscreen were much less likely to get skin cancer, but also their skin looked healthier and younger because their skin was able to not spend all of its energy and all of its time fighting off aggressors. It could spend all of its time and all of its energy actually repairing itself because of course skin is an organ that can repair itself. And that's like the amazing thing about skin that I love. It's so cool. So that's all the face skincare. It's summer. So I need sunscreen on every bit of exposed skin. So I just use standard chemical sunscreens for my body. I love this banana boat light as air. It's really like a dry feeling sunscreen. You don't feel greasy with it. It is scented. 
Uh, I misspoke in a recent video and I said it was fragrance free. It's really not. It does have a fragrance, but it's very light, not one of those super heavy beachy fragrances. I have been using this Hawaiian Tropic one lately. It's also an SPF 50. I like this one, but it's, the fragrance is super heavy, really coconutty, really Hawaii-ish, but it feels nice on the skin. It doesn't settle in my wrinkles, neither does this one. If I'm self tanning because it's summer, then those are my self tanners that I like back there. There's three actually that I like. I tried two more and I like them both. So I like the Bondi Sands one. I like Loving Tan and I also like the Beauty by Earth one. You put them on with a mitt. I've got my little mitt right here. And if you want to get it on your back and you don't have someone to help you, this is a great little tool for that. I've used it. It works great. So I can link these in the info box below as well. So after I've got my sunscreen all on my arms and my chest, then I wash my hands because I don't like how sunscreen feels on the palms of my hands, but I do want to apply it to, to the backs of my hands and I I don't want it to wash off the second I wash my hands. So I wash my hands first, then I put on the sunscreen onto the backs of my hands. I'll either use this or I'll use one of the sticks, the one I showed you before. This one is awesome. I love it. It's not greasy. So I'm just rubbing the backs of my hands together and spreading it that way. And my skincare is done, ready for action. Just got to dry my hair. First, I use the Hair Max Laser Band 82. It's my hair growth device. It's a 90 second treatment. Then I blow my hair out with my Dyson. And today I'm trying a new hair curling device slash straightener from Lange. It blows cool air out of the backside and has heated plates. So it's supposed to keep your waves and curls in longer. So I'm just testing this today, first use. Not sure how I'm gonna like it, but we will see how it goes. Well, that was a quick five hours. Now it's lunchtime, time to take the dogs out for yeah. another <laughs> walk and then working for the afternoon. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the end of the day. It's time to do the evening skincare routine. For some reason, this piece of hair stayed curled, but the rest of it really didn't. I mean, it's not bad. It's still a little beachy wavy, but I gotta say, I thought it would have more staying power since that thing heats and cools at the same time. Of course, step one, remove makeup, wash the face. So I usually use my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Oh look, it matches my jammies. And I just rub it right into my dry skin. I just rub it right into the base of my lashes, I go underneath. I love them. Everything comes out nice and clean. I just hang it up to dry. For my second cleanse, I use the Derma E Sensitive Skin Cleanser. Just to make sure I have all the makeup off, I give myself a little scrub with my Tao Ona. This is a rotating cleanser. I have the um, silicone head for it. Then I just pat dry. Normally I would just start going in with my skincare right away, but I'm using the Nira at night now, so I have to wait for my skin to dry a little bit. So I'm just gonna give it a minute to dry before I do the Nira routine. I actually have two models of the Nira. This is the original and this is the new Pro model, which has a much bigger aperture, bigger opening there. So I had originally used this one and this one, you do like 40 tiny little zaps around your eyes. And I had really good results after using this for like 67 days and then I did another video after 150 days and I had really really great results on my crow's feet and under my eyes with this. It was awesome and I do continue to use it but I'm trying this one now and so I'm kind of using this one more than I'm using this one right now just because I'm testing it out. Just thought I'd demo it for you here today since I have a whole video on that one. This one you don't have to press a button it fires by itself and I'm using it at the highest level level five and then it just fires when it in contact with skin. So you get those two beeps and then you're supposed to do 10 spots around your eye and after 10 it will give you a little jingle. So that was 10. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I mean and this one is so much faster to use because it covers an area that's so much larger and now my eyes are done whereas with the other one you're in there doing 40 little pulses and I gotta say that one's a lot hotter than this one I don't find this one to be like super hot but I also use this one on the rest of my face I'm like trying to see if it will help my pores and also using it under here 
to see if it'll help under my chin at all. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and start applying skincare. Since my skin is so dry, I like to re-wet it. So I use one of these two toners and I use it as an essence. This one is a urea moisture toner and this one is a green tea toner. I'm gonna use the urea moisture toner this time. So I just sprinkle a little in my hand and then I just put it on like an essence. I just pat it into my skin. So while my skin's slightly damp, I go in with the rest of my skincare. First thing I'm gonna put on is my Agency Future Formula. I mentioned this earlier. So this little portion of the video will also be sponsored by Agency. The two most important things in your anti-aging skincare routine are gonna be your tretinoin and your sunscreen. So the ingredients in this bottle were custom picked for me by my provider. So I have tretinoin in here at 0.14%. I have azelaic acid in in here at 5%, tranexamic acid at 5%, and niacinamide at 4%. So if you're the kind of person who, you know, you look at all the ingredients and all the different products in anti-aging skincare, and you just find the whole thing confusing, and you don't know what to pick, this is a really great way to go because you get four active ingredients in every bottle. And if you go with the two bottles, the dark spot formula, and the future formula, you end up with eight active ingredients and you're working with a dermatology provider who has selected them just for you to address your skincare concerns. So you're not stabbing around in the dark, hoping to get the right thing. So just one little squirt of the tretinoin, I dot it around my face and then I just rub it in. And I always make sure that I put it on my upper lip, put it on my forehead. I don't put it on my eyelids and I didn't put it under my eyes when I started using it, but now that I've been using it for 10 years, I put it under my eyes. And then I take a little more. Sometimes I can do my neck, most of the time I can't, it's too sensitive, but I always do right under here for the jowlies. I always put a little bit on my chest and then the extra I put on the backs of my hands. So that's how I apply my tretinoin with my future formula, but it's got those other three ingredients that are really great for fighting wrinkles and for fighting redness in your skin. So again, if you're interested in trying agency, there's a link that you can hit up in the info box below the video. Because my neck is super sensitive, sometimes I'll put moisturizer on and then put on the tretinoin maybe like once a week, but the other six nights I'm using May Love's Moonlight Serum. This is a retinoin serum. The retinol is retinaldehyde and that's a cousin of Retin-A. So this does need to be converted by your skin into all trans retinoic acid, which is what Retin-A already is. So this needs a one-step conversion in your skin to become tretinoin. I always think it's always best to use like the strongest stuff, but if you can't because you're too sensitive, then this is a really good alternative. After that, I apply my Timeless Matrixyl Synth 6 Serum. This is a peptide serum. The Matrixyls help with varying signs of aging. So they'll help with wrinkles, they'll help with discolorations, they'll help with all kinds of things. They're very hydrating. Then my next step in the evening is May Love the Hydrator. This contains panthenol and resveratrol. Resveratrol is another antioxidant. I love getting lots of different antioxidants into my skincare routine. They just help your skin fight all the aggressors that your skin has to put up with during the day. So this one is really just a really super hydrating lightweight serum. I also apply my Agency Dark Spot formula. Again, this is a twice a day product and put that on the same places that I applied it earlier. And just rub that in quickly. For my nighttime moisturizer, I've really been loving the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Fragrance Free. Just grab a little bit of that out of there. And I'm just putting that all over my face, eyelid, lips, neck. Even though it's summer, I don't find it like heavy feeling or overly, you know, emollient or moisturizing. It's really great winter or summer. I really, really like it a lot. To keep my neck from getting irritated, I always put on a little bit of the Derma E Eczema Relief Cream. Slather a little bit of that on there every night. I always put on my Revitalash. This is my Lash and Brow Growth Serum. This one's almost out. I buy this in the uh, Nordstrom sale, which is coming up pretty soon. And that is my evening skincare routine. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today and coming along with me while I do my little skincare vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.